Hello everybody, welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. Matt here and we have a little something special today. This is a Betrayers of Kamigawa booster box all the way from 2005. So 16 years old now. We got a handful of my group members that were interested in opening this. So we're going to open a couple of the packs for the participants. We're going to leave some of them sealed. But uh, regardless, it should be a lot of fun. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave me a comment to get in on the giveaways. We'll be giving away a Crimson Vow booster box here shortly. So let's not waste any more time, and we'll try to open this somewhat carefully so we can keep the box intact. And that got it. Perfect. So there's no going back now, and I'd like to thank Jimmy Shim, one of, the, uh, one of my subscribers, Facebook group members, all the way from Australia for sending this to me, making this possible. So uh, we used to get, this is a different kind of box topper. Telling you about player rewards and player rewards are really cool because back then they would actually, for, for turn, entering tournaments, um, depending on how many you entered, you would get borderless and really neat alternate art foil cards. I wish they still did this kind of stuff, but alas, we know there's no longer DCI numbers. So this is what that was about. I've already randomized the numbers so pack one, we'll go to Andy D. And this one he wanted open. So we're gonna start with this one. Let me adjust this camera ever so slightly. That looks a little bit better for the people watching at home because I am live streaming this as we are opening. I'm try my best to keep these packs intact if I can. I like to mail the wrappers out with the cards. So this will be a little bit longer form video. So bear with me on this. Doing an okay job of uh, keeping this one somewhat in one piece. Slide the cards out. There we go. And Andy, you are pack number one. Let's see how it goes. Teardrop Kami. Harbinger of Spring. Harobi's Whisper. Used to run this in Limited a lot. Kami of False Hope. Blade Main Baku. I don't know if you can tell, but spirits were a thing. Crack the Earth. Floodbringer. A little bit of uh, Moonfolk action there. Petal Main Baku. Leeches. Heart of Light should be coming up on the comments now. God's Eye. Gate to the Wreck Eye. Genju of the Fins. And woo, Faithful Squire. Our first flip card. Really neat here. We'll go ahead and flip it over. That way you guys can get a look at that. Really cool Mark Zug artwork. And the last but not least, a Shining Shoal. That guy is wrapped up in TP, of course. TP for his cornhole. I forgot this is where the uh, the shoals came from. The disrupting, nourishing, etc., etc. So that's going to be pack one for Andy D. And I'm going to go ahead and... Put it in a container, label it with his name, and we will move on to the next pack. Next up will be Adam Smith. Pack one for Adam here. Good luck, sir. Most people have multiple packs in the opening. Some people wanted a sealed one and a couple open ones. These old boxes are getting so expensive that it's hard to collect the sealed boxes. It's a little easier to collect the sealed packs. They even make hard acrylic cases for packs these days. All right, Adam, you're up. Ninja of the Deep Hours, that guy comes in clutch. Child of Thorns, Skull Snatcher, Frost Ogre. Ribbons of Rakai. Sorry about that. I was catching up with the chat there. Tarashi's Grasp. Aki Blizzard Herder. A little bit of meddling action. Uproot. Stir the Grave. Ashen Monstrosity. Callow Juicy. Got another flip card here. Jiraku the Interloper. Another Jinju. And Patron of 
the Kitsune. Fox offering. Because, of course, we know uh, foxes were a thing. With the half tails. Sleeve this one up. Get it in the container. And we will move on to the next one. Next up is John C. Number three. And he wanted this one sent to him sealed. So let's see. I did have some containers here for that. But what we will do is I'll manage. So pack three out of the boxes for John C. Number three. And this is one of the sealed packs going out. So we'll keep this, uh, this handy. And little ink eyes. On the pack there and now we got Deanna R she wanted a sealed pack as well so we'll put that there write her name on the container keep them together and I think the next one hopefully no this one will be a sealed one too going through a row of sealed packs so this one is for Michael Y Sealed up. This one is for FMF. It will be sealed as well. And then finally, we get back to opening some packs. This one is for Corey New. So Corey, you're up. Good luck to you. What's up, Damon? Welcome to the live stream. All right, Corey. Pack number one for you. Frostling. Kami. Roar of Jukai. Split Tail Miko. Okiba Gang Shinobi. Crack the Earth again. I'm good, Damon. I'm good. Uh, just got back from the Flesh and Blood Nationals trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, we got Crimson Val pre-release this weekend, so uh, it's all gas, no brakes. Sewing Salt, Minimocyte Bender, Garami, Anna Ornate, Kenzashi. Really cool card there. Beautiful artwork on it. Let's get this put in the container for Corey. I sound a little, I'm not 100% yet, Aristotle. Um, still, still getting over, still getting over the sinus crud. But we'll get there, man. A couple more days, I'll be good as new. Um, I'll be busy putting uh, new flooring into the, to the store. This weekend, so hopefully I have some time to stream. Um, next up is FMF again. This time we're going to open one for FMF. So good luck on this one. I really hope we, we open a, a, a Umazawa's Jite. That will bring back so many memories. Gatekeeper. Ninja. Skelto. This was a weird time in Magic. I don't think they knew the Jitte was going to be as good as it was because they actually included it in a pre-con. It was called Rat's Nest. And I remember going to like every Walmart in the tri-state area buying the Rat's Nest decks just for the Jitte. Hired Muscle. Flip it over to a Scar Maker. Jinju of the Fields. Sewing Salt. And Shizuku, Collar of Autumn. Hoping to have the store open by the end of the month. That is the plan. Um, I think we're, I think it's doable. Dealing with supply chain issues and just time issues. We've been, uh, we've been burning the candle at both ends. So it's been hard to, uh, to get things done lately, to be honest. And then next up we have Adam. Open one for Adam again. So pack two. Good luck to you, Adam. 
Pack number two, the first one, you got a giant fox spirit. Pack two, will it be kinder? Hunter Talon Strike. Shimmering Glass Kite. Takanuma Bleeder. Bile Urchin. First Volley. Floodbringer. Uproot. Call for Blood. Nazumi Shadow Watcher. Honor Dead. Aki Raider. That looks like Kiki Jiki's brother. Patron of the Moon. What are the chances? You get back-to-back -back patrons. You got the Kitsune and the Moon patron. What has that guy been eating? And why does his face look like that? Sleeve up that guy. Put him in the container. Throat Slitter is a bit big uncommon. What does Throat Slitter go for these days? I have a ton of those in like a bolt bin. Next up is Andy D, and we're going to open this one for Andy. Clearly, it's been eating Merfolk, or Moonfolk. Touche, Christina, touche. So, pack two for Andy. Going to start things off with a Gnarled Mass. Bakus, Frosty, Kami, Roar of the Jakai, Toils of Night and Day, Tri-Builder, Sniper, excuse me, Heart of Lights, Crack the Earth. This was kind of a small set, so we're going to see a lot of duplication. It's only 165 cards. Beautiful artwork on that one. And... Baku Altar. Look at that weird thing. Is that a frog? I have no idea. Looks like a frog. So that was pack two for Andy. Andy has one later in the break. It will be sealed. But now we're going to move on to Corey. And Corey is going to grab a sealed pack. Let's throw this with Corey's stuff. That way he's got it, knows which one it is. Corey, there we go. All right, next up is Paul Allison. Paul got in on this break even though he said Betrayers was banned from being open in his household. So technically this isn't his household, so I think we can get away with it. So Paul, good luck to you. May the Betrayers forever be in your favor. This will be the only one we open for Paul. Fingers crossed it's a good one. Here we go. It's crazy artwork on that card. Torrent of Stone. Another Ninja of Deep Hours. Child of Thorns. You knew, I, I looked at that and I said, that looks like Rebecca artwork. And it is. Heart of Light. Blizzard Herder, Aura Barbs, Genju of the Falls, used to play this card a ton, Body of Jukai, Patron of the Nazumi, and we have our first foil. Look at that rat. Would you look at that rat? Okay, first foil, 100 Talon Strike. And I'm going to tell you, these old foils hit a little differently than these new ones. Look at the foiling on that. Beautiful stuff. The teeth, I'm telling you. So not the biggest hit there, Paul, but still pretty cool. A little bit of rat offering action. And now we got FMF. He's going to go for a sealed pack. So let's grab this one. It's got old ink eyes on it and throw it in FMF stack, which is right here. And then after that, we have Allison. So Allison, she typically jumps in every one of these. She'll get a sealed pack and a not sealed pack. 
This one happens to be Allison's open pack. Good luck to you. Let's see how it goes. Hirobi's Whisper. You know, open these old packs kind of makes me feel like uh kind of makes me feel like open boosters in kind of a small way. This isn't nearly as beefy as the stuff uh, Dan opens. But it's still, you know, open in old magic packs. It's a uh Flames of the Blood Hand is so good. It's an experience. Budoka Pupil. I actually had the pleasure of meeting Dan at the Flesh and Blood Nationals about a week ago. He, he's a super nice... I met him. I met Edwin the Magic Engineer and Tavis. They came by the booth. Chase Heart of Oceans. Yeah, Dan's a super nice guy. I've always, I've always liked Dan. Had to take a whiff of these. Had to get that vintage smell. I can't believe I haven't smelled one already. So that's pack one for Allison. All right, next up, we got three in a row for John C., number three. So these three are John's, and we're going to open all three of these and see how it goes. I mean, that guy has probably pulled more power on camera than just about anybody. And then Andy from uh, Power 9 Quest, he's, he's opened a lot of power on camera. But I think Dan's probably still in the lead. All right, John C. Number three, we got three packs for you here. We're going to open all of them. Andy's a real stand-up guy, too. I really like Andy. When Ikoria came out, we got a little bit early, and uh, I was able to get Andy a box. And uh, got to, whoa, got to talk to him a little bit. Yukora the Prisoner. Look at that guy. He's covered in chains. Yeah, Andy, it's in completely random order. I took it and ran it through a randomizer. I've got a video of it I'll throw up. Your next pack is probably... I mean, look, look here. I'm trying to find out. looks like it's roughly 10 packs away, and it'll be your sealed pack. Really cool card there for John. Yukora the Prisoner. Next pack for John. Hoping for some of those big hitters. And, of course, we're going to revisit Kamigawa in a few months, early next year. A lot of people are hyped for that. Um, I don't know if people realize, like, there weren't a ton of fans of Kamigawa when it was standard. EDH wasn't big when the set was released. And I don't think a lot of the cards out of here became very good until EDH became a thing. We got a Cunning Bandit. Treachery Incarnate. Heed the Mist. And Day of Destiny. Legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus two. This is when, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a legendary rule change when the Kamigawa block was released. And I think it's changed since then as well. I think back then you could have one copy of Legend in play on either side of the battlefield. And say your opponent played a Kokushu and then you played a Kokushu as well, they both died. So yours became a kill spell, if there's one already in play. All right, John, pack three. Three out of three in a row here. Hirobi's Whisper. Uproots. Call for Blood, Takano's Calvary, Mark of the Oni, Empty Shrine Kanushi, doing a little bit of origami there, Flames of the Blood Hand, and Heartless Hedexugu. Nice hit here for John. Deals 
to each player equal to half of that player's life total rounded down. So a Heartless here can do a lot of damage really fast. Not a bad hit at all. We'll take it. Sheesh. Mike says. So let's get John's wrapper series inside. Throw it back down. And then next up we have Michael Y. Let's see, we're gonna open one for him. I'm pretty sure we've got a sealed one. We do. And Michael Y. Good luck. Still searching for Umazawa's. Umazawa's Jite. If you, that is a, there was so much between the Mirrodin block and this block. There's so much broken equipment that after that, Wizards really started nerfing the power of equipment because they, I don't think that at first they realized how powerful and game breaking it could be. If you got a Jite down that's stuck and you got a couple counters on it, it was really hard for the other people, like your opponents, to overcome that. Ogre Marauder, Indebted Samurai, Barbs, Tomorrow Azami's Familiar. Really neat looking card there. She may not realize that's Christopher Rush art. Um, rest in peace. Mr. Rush is no longer with us, and he drew some of the most iconic magic cards there are, aka Black Lotus. Who is up after Michael? We got one for Corey New, and it's going to be sealed. So this one is going to go to Corey. We've already got a stack down here for it. Then after Corey, we got another John C. number three, and it's going to be sealed. Sealed pack for John C, number three. And then after that, we have an open one for Raymond E. I bet you wish you could have that one back, Richard. Sold a, a heavy play sign Lotus back in the 90s for 250. All right, Raymond E, pack number one. We're going to open this one for you, or we've already opened it, so there's no going back now. Gnarled Mass, Skull Gang, Bang Baku, Wax Mane, Samurai, Kumano, Master Yamabushi, Toil of Night and Day, Creepy Urchin again, Kalo Jushi. We've already opened this a little bit earlier, but I'll flip it again so you can get a look at it. Kenju of the Cedars, Enshrined Mem Oh, we have a foil, too. We have a foil, Raymond. Let's see what it is. It is a foil flip card. Very interesting. They smell amazing, Jimmy. I took a whiff a little bit earlier. This is a wonderful uh, 2006 vintage, 2005 vintage. So these have been down in the, the wine cellar for... About 15 or 16 years now. Just marinating. Getting better as time goes on. I wonder I wonder how long it'll be before people start making like humidifiers or, or what a humidors. For uh for magic cards. I feel like that could be on the horizon to keep boxes. In, uh, in their best shape possible. All right, Cameron S., we got two back-to-back -back for you. Those old foils be slapping. All right, pack one for Cameron. The next one will be his too, and we're going to open both of them. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. All right, Cameron, good luck to you. Still searching for some of those big hits. Hopefully hopefully they're not sealed away in those uh, those packs we're not going to open. Maybe they are. 
but we'd like to see some of them on camera if we could somehow pull it out. Loam's Dweller, what a, that looks like Tarmogoy's grandfather. Three tragedies. Kitsune. Woo! There it is. Ink Eyes. Servant of Oni. Pack Fresh. For Cameron. Very nice hit. Congratulations. So this will be pack two for Cameron. If I'm not mistaken, back in the day, there was like an alternate foiling, alternate art of Ink Eyes. I can't remember what it was for, but I'm almost certain there was one. All right, here we go. Shinobi. A little Frostling. Whisper. Yeah, the, the, the foils do take the, uh, take the spot. You only get one foil. You know, you don't double up on your rares. It takes the spot of a common. Shroken. Mark of the Oni. Empty Shrine. Orb of Dreams. Permanents come in the play tapped. If you're the kind of person that plays this, you probably also like to do your own taxes. And you might, you might be an accountant. Just saying. Nice hit with Ink Eyes, Raymond. Congratulations on that. We'll get you sealed away in a protector here. Or, I'm sorry, this is Cameron. Congratulations, Cameron. And then after Cameron, we got Michael Y. Again for an open pack. Let me find Michael's stack. Here we go, and we're going to open this one. All right. Good luck, Michael. Got a little gatekeeper, ninja. That guy, he's a Hulk and he's a spirit. I don't know about him. He's creeping me out. Wizard Herder, Veil of Secrecy, Vital Surge, Mending Hands, Tarashi's Verdict, Ogre Recluse, here comes Disrupting Shoal. This was kind of a big hit back in the day. Everybody thought this was the replacement for Force of Will. Never quite got there, but still a really cool card. It's been reprinted a time or two since. I think Double Masters. Could be wrong about that one. Ultimate Masters. All right, next up is one for Andy. And this will be your sealed pack, Andy. So we've got uh, this one. We're going to put an Andy stack down here. Let me find his. Uh, there we go. After Andy, we got a Raymond again for a opened. Good luck to you, Raymond, once again. So this will be, I believe this is Raymond's second pack, third pack, second pack, something like that. Kubano's Blessing. Walker of Secret Ways. Really neat looking artwork on that one. Budoka Pupil. And it flips over to a Achiga who topples Oaks. Not, ich not Ichigo, Achiga. Another double flip card pack, Hired Muscle. Also a Scar Maker. Last card, but not least. Oh, how, do, how does that happen? Raymond double tapped his rare. Craziness. Luckily, Raymond has another pack. So maybe, 
Maybe he'll get lucky on that one. After Raymond, we got we got our, one of the OGs, Tom, up to bat. Here we go, Tom. You got a pack. It's got old ink eyes on it there. To double tap a rare in a set this small, it happens more than you think it would, but it, it's just... Unli it feels like it should be more unlikely. So good luck, Tom. About halfway through your pack now. Crawling through some filth. We're going to summon some Sosukes. We're going to wear some gloves with some kitty cat claws. We're going to eradicate those kitty cats. We're going to twist our allegiance. We have a foil, Tom. We have a foil. It's just a flood bringer, but oh my goodness, she is pretty. Look at that. Beautiful card. So there you go, Tom. Cool pack for sure. Next up will be Dakota. Dakota wants one pack and he wants it sent sealed. So we will do that. Dakota. And this one is yours, my friend. Sealed pack. After Dakota, we got Allison up. She's going to go for a sealed pack as well. Allison, we're going to grab an ink eyes. Let me find Allison's stack. There we go. And then we have Adam. Adam's going to be up for an open pack. We haven't hit a foil rare yet, Jimmy. I'm guessing it's probably in one of the sealed packs, unless it's in one of these last few here. So we may never know what the foil rare was, unfortunately. Unless it decides to, let's see. Looks like we're opening packs the rest of the way, so. Nourishing Shoal. Incredible, this card stock feels thicker than modern cards. I wonder where these were printed. I want to say these are going to be, are these USA? Does it tell us where these are printed? Hmm. Interesting. Are all, these old, are all these old ones printed in Belgium from, from Cardamundi? I can't remember. Yeah, I'll, look, I'll check the box when we're done to see. All right, after Adam, we got John C. up to bat again. We're going to open this one. Poor John C. It says made in the USA. Did I just completely miss it, Mike? Property of wizards in the USA and other countries. I don't know if there's, I don't know if I'm reading it too fast. Second line. Made in the USA. Thank you, Mike. How did I miss that? It's in bold. That's what I get for trying to read it through a camera. I was almost certain it was USA from, from the way the packs were sealed, but you never know. All right, here we go. John C. Hoping for that luck. Got the Bleeder. Torn of Stone. Takino's Calvary. Veil of Secrecy. Sniper. There we go. There's the expensive uncommon we've been looking for. Throat Slitter. Tallow Wisp, remember that card, and a Blazing Shoal. That's a neat card. 
So far, we have hit three shoals. We've hit the blue, the green, and the red one now, right? Did we hit the white one, too? Maybe we've hit four shoals. I think we're going for the, uh, the shoal rainbow, the trifecta. All right, this next pack, the person that was in on it backed out. So this is going to be a open or not. We're not going to open this one. Nobody's getting this one. I'm going to put this one to the side. What I'm going to do with this pack is if you're subscribed and you comment on this video, here in about a week, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick somebody from the comments. And they're going to get this pack for free. That's why you always comment and make sure you're subbed. Hit that thumbs up for the algorithm. Next up is Michael Y. We're going to open this one. Yeah, I figured since that, the, the person that was in that spot backed out, um, instead of trying to re, resell it, that, you know, it'd be cooler to give it away, right? Am I right or am I right? Three packs left. See if something crazy happens. Floodbringer. Monstrosity. Kalajusi flip card. Jinju of the Cedars. The OG... Gorio's Vengeance. For a long time, this card was really expensive. And then it got reprinted in Ultimate Masters. And ever since then, the price has been low. Still a really cool card, especially in its OG version. We got Raymond E up next. Hopefully he doesn't get another Enshrined Memories. Here we go. Reduced to dreams with a foil Shinka Gatekeeper. Really neat there. Next after that will be Deanna for her open pack. Let me find the stack here. Open pack for Deanna. Good luck, Deanna. Deanna, are you the one during the, uh, when we did Saviors, are you the one that got that crazy pack with the foil rare and the, uh, the land in it? I think that was you. Mark of Sakiko, Blinding Powder, Iwa Mori of the Open Fist. This is a really good card. Love this card. He's a 5-5 five, five for 4 mana, and when he comes into play, each opponent puts a legendary creature from their hand into play. So there's Deanna's sealed pack and her open pack. And there is one pack left. And this last one, unfortunately, is going to go sealed to Rue.
And that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate you guys letting me open these packs for you. Of course, Crimson Vow is on the horizon. This is a pre-release weekend. We'll be opening some of that very soon. So watch out for that, and we will catch you guys in the next one.